Today, there is a fascinating debate happening between Charlie Kirk and a student on a very interesting topic. They are discussing what punishment should be given to someone who illegally crosses the American border. However, this student has a unique perspective. He argues that while punishment should be given, it's important first to consider the person's situation and understand why they felt the need to cross the border illegally. Charlie has made an intriguing argument on this point. Let's go straight to the video. For those who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Let's start. Let's just be clear. Do you think it should be illegal to come into America if, uh, without without permission? No. Oh wait. Let me rephrase that. Do I think? Do you think it should be against the law for someone to come into America without permission? No. Yes, I do. Okay. What should the punishment be? <laughs> I think it depends on the reason why they came here. See, I disagree. So let me so let's apply that standard. Do you think it should be illegal to go break into somebody's home? Yeah. Do we factor in the reason when we sentence them? Should we? Yeah. Oh, see, I disagree. I don't think it's okay to rob a grocery store if you're hungry. I don't think it's okay to rob a bank if you're poor. Okay. Do you? Usually. Well, yeah, I do not think it would be okay. But if someone's under extreme circumstances, I can understand why they might well, make a decision. Well, hold on a second. People are not coming to America under extreme circumstances. Really? You, what, what, what circumstance? That their countries are poor? That's six billion of the seven billion people on this planet. I think personally and maybe some people argue that people fleeing from war-torn countries where they face the threat of death are in truly extreme situations should be considered. However, according to the student's logic, some people might try to make it appear as though they are in dire straits to commit this crime, receive a lighter sentence if caught and then return to their regular lives afterward. But my question is, how many of you would go to another country expecting them to provide you with money, shelter, food, free phones, healthcare, and even a plane ticket to your destination? What are your thoughts on this topic? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. A big thank you to everyone supporting me. Take care.